swim talk yeah some time passed by since the last one but finally I managed to finish this new video and I think it won't disappoint maybe it will be a kind of historic because today we won't only discuss the phenotypes of swims we also will discuss the genotypes and I think this has really never happened before. Or, I don't know. If you know, please tell me. Yeah, but before we dive in right now in today's topic, I would like to say thank you to Jose Maria Vigrena Mora, who is the co-author of this new shrimp box. And these books are available in English and in German. And I would like to say thank you to Uli Bauer, who just right now is translating it into English. Yeah, both always support me with proofreading my content, or they are available to any time for any questions I have. Great job, thank you. Okay, I think let's get started. In former videos we discussed the parents that are Kawidina Logomani and Kawidina Maria. At least then we were busy with the offspring, the so-called F1 generation. And now we will turn over to the next level, what is the level 2 of our chart. During the further mating of the F1, I noticed several shrimps in the offspring whose phenotypes were unusual and new. This was true for about 3% of the offspring compared to about 97 percentage of the intermediaries what is presented here with the orange color of our circle. I selected the few suspicious individuals and divided them into several groups based on their respective characteristics. Let's take a look now to the first of these groups. I call them expansion group. Most of you will already know the phenotypes by their names Black Tiger, Snow White and Full Ghost OE. They stand out in particular because only one color is visible on them. Or in case of the Full Ghost OE, no color at all. And this extends over the entire body. In this video we will take a special look to the phenotype of the black tiger and define their genotype. Next video maybe we will turn to the other phenotypes of Snow White and Full Ghost. 
In my opinion, the study of genotypes in shrimps has been neglected in all these years, so it's an historical first if we start with this in this video. Therefore, we need to go back two steps at this point and look at the genotypes of the origin animals, the bee and the blue tiger. I recommend watching the first videos about these genotypes here on my channel for the basics. Both have pattern and now assign a letter P for the visible pattern and make the following additional assumption. P is a pattern, bands and stripes. Bands and stripes act dominant with a slightly higher dominance of the stripes. They are similar traits but not same. I color we assign a B. We remember by former videos that it is possible to select the pattern of the logo money in a certain range to increase the bands from just fragments to full plane bands and probably beyond in direction of supercrystal. It isn't possible to do something similar with the wild type Marias. So there is a kind of modifier trait within the crystals that make this happen and this modifier will play a big role in the crossbreeding game. I have assigned with the letter E. If you made yourself a little formula with the basic Mendelian rules, you will know a pure line has pure traits. A pure trait that is a single gene with two alleles, one version of same gene at same place on a chromosome. In our case, the genotypes of our original parents look like this. And so here the genotype for our F1 cross. The parents pass through one allele of each trait to their offspring. So much for theory. In practice I have made the black tiger phenotypes in three directions to prove recessive and dominant traits. I made them among theirself and I made them back to the blue tigers and back to the crystals. Please don't be confused by the expression of B here. It is the German expression for crystals. I would like to discuss the results of the back crossing with the crystals in an extra video. Because this is a way to create the so-called fancy tiger phenotypes from which my own safari line was created and I'm sure that will be worth a clip of its own. At this point it's maybe just to mention that they are kind of intermediaries just with slightly thicker colors. And the fancy pattern is an additive selection. The offspring from black tiger and blue tiger were almost 100% of type tiger. Distinctive tiger characteristics 
remains all the way through even in further generations and some regular eyes and some have the known orange eyes breeding them among will give results with slightly expanded pattern again and a few with full expansion even some popped out with a full bluish coverage and orange eyes this maybe will be known as Prussian blues and royal blues the internal color is a kind of co-dominance that interacts with the pattern color by creating new linkage groups of chromosomes and will play a big role later on. Mating black tigers with black tigers always leads on a line that is pure for this trait. It means 100% of the offsprings are black tigers and breed in the range of the grade from BT3 until BT1 and 0. I will put a link to the grades for explaining in the description for those of you who are not that familiar with that uh, black tiger grading. With some special selection of the black tigers we may gain different variants of the black tigers, namely deeply black ones with orange eyes black ones with regular eyes and slightly white tail tips we get regular eyes with bluish color and some that have a reddish interesting coating reddish coating is also a co-dominant trait that act similar like the inner body color and is colloquially called rusty. After some years breeding them on, I got even some wet specimens for my black tiger lines. And if the breeder is patient enough, he will gain maybe a lot of more colors, like this one have light blue with his eyes. After all my experience and after 
10 years breeding black tigers forth and back and what I have now shared to me there is no doubt anymore what is the origin source of the black tiger phenotypes from all this you maybe should remember what trait is responsible for it and this is EE for the recessive expansion trait and additionally BB for the recessive eye color. Yeah, that's rather all what is to say about black tiger phenotypes. Maybe this will be some shocking infos for somebody, but the things are as they are. It's all what I have proved and I'm really sure about. Yeah, maybe the attentive and interested viewer will have noticed that I haven't assigned a letter for the white basic color yet. I don't want to do the things more complicated as they are, so I omitted it for this time, but I will catch it up for the later videos when we will talk about phenotypes where the white basic color will play a bigger role. Yeah, so we reached the end and if you like the video, please share it or leave a comment under the video. If you have any questions, of course, just put it under the video and I will take a look on it later. We reached the end. I say thank you for watching. Until then.